Hello YouTube, Sunday, it's only about 75 degrees, I'm sitting here in the shed, taking it easy, see all these scratches and the big long ones, <coughs> excuse me, you've got to excuse me, I may do that again, I've got like summer pneumonia, I know that probably sounded nasty, but, uh, being in the air conditioning, going out in heat and humidity, back and forth, okay, we want to remove these scratches, so this is the first thing we did, we started scraping with this, and be careful because you get to a scratch the wrong way you might take a chunk out of it this plastic formica but if you you'll start building that up you'll start actually moving the plastic okay now what we did was we did that got everything leveled okay and then we used the corner of our see if we get here a nasty one we kind of use the corner of our razor blade scraper I said you got to be careful because you don't want to make the gouge any bigger here sorry about that I get looking at one thing and then I you know what I mean get out of frame see if you hear how that hit better stop you might take a chunk out okay now that we've done that right and we did that almost all these we flooded it with rubbing alcohol this is my favorite kind 91 percent and it's flammable. Be careful. Don't be pouring this all over the table if you're a smoker or something. You're lighting up a cigarette or something. Anyway, safety warning's over. Okay, so we flooded it. We cleaned it, right? Because when you're doing this, you're going to see the white powder in there. So what we're going to do is we're going to show you. We're going to put a little on here. Okay, and then we're going to go over it. Okay, and it does start disappearing. So the whole idea is when we put some furniture polish on here, like uh, our favorite lemon scented brand. Get all these brand names, but you're you're gonna get rid of some of those. Because what you're trying to do is say when you're cleaning, keep flooding with alcohol. You want to get the dirt lifted out. Okay, you want to get the dirt to come up out of them cracks. I think you know what I mean. And there's some nasty spots still here, like over in here. See that? You'll lift that dirt out. If you keep doing that, okay, you'll lift the dirt out. I said just be careful using your razor blade. You could probably use a sewing needle. Okay, now here's my secret. Here's my secret weapon. These go in your cup holders are made out of ceramic. I've used this on my knife so I see where the center is lower. Because this is all powder. If I wipe this off, see how the powder goes away? This is your secret weapon. Don't make big circles. Trust me, I've already screwed up doing that. Stay in a small pattern. This is better than sandpaper because this ceramic is hard. I'm trying to get on that bat, one of these bad spots. Here, here's where it's bad. See that? See that? We're going to go in here and do it. And get aggressive. Get some pressure on it. Get some muscle on it. I wish I had a big weight to put on this, like about four pounds of lead or something. Cause then I can just move around with these. That's how you start getting the powder all over everything. Don't breathe that in. See all that? Okay, that's the secret. Just keep doing that. Uh, the people who owned this used to have it in their house, lived in the country. They moved it out to a corn crib, which is kind of like a shed. And they uh, cleaned fish on it all the time. Now it's hard to see it, but you can tell there's a lot of scratches over on this corner. It's the worst part of the whole table, so that's my little secret. See if I can get down there. See that? That's a really bad gouge. And I kept hitting that with a razor blade, and it actually was making it bigger. It's just for out here. I would not do this to try to sell this to somebody and scam it and say, oh, it's beautiful original condition. No. I would actually, if I did, I'd tell them, hey, this is what I did to make it look better. Uh, this is my shop work table now. It'll always be mine forever. I'll never get rid of it. Uh... See that? I said, don't breathe this stuff in. I got a fan back there. You can see everything blowing around. So it's blowing it off the desk. You can actually see it almost lift in the air. Yeah, do not breathe that ceramic dust in or plastic dust. So there you go. Combination razor scraper. Found it like a home builder supply type. Uh, I will plug where I got these. I buy my razor blades at Staples. They come in a little purple box. They go. For, they're used in the box cutters. Now they're fragile, they'll snap, but they are very, very sharp. 
Uh, let's get down here real close. Hear that? I'm hitting a notch. I said you'll chunk the table out. Did you hear that? Hit another spot. Like there's a little notch right there. Can you see it? A little tiny speck. I said kind of peck at it. I said keep flooding it with your... Here's another one. I suppose you could use a sewing needle. Then keep flooding it with your alcohol. I said be careful. You should do this outside or somewhere. Do not do this in your house, people. Uh, if you're doing a garage, do it near the, where your big doors, fire extinguishers, or whatever, because uh, you don't know what can set that alcohol up. This stuff is very, very flammable. I use it to start my barbecue with. Uh, I know it's kind of a toxic, but ain't any more toxic than lighter fluid. But you can scrape back. These scrapers work different a different way. Okay, long enough video. I think I showed you everything. Steps. Oh. Just come in very, very handy. Uh, you put a little bit of uh, alcohol down and get you a puddle. And you get work them little cracks and grooves. If you're going to scrub hard, shut it off. Don't ruin your brush. If you want to scrub hard, shut the thing off. I showed this in another video. Uh, this goes up and down and this spins not completely. It spins back and forth. So it ain't 360 like a wheel rolling. Yeah, you can find these anywhere. This is just cheap brand. There you go. About the best I can do. Uh, of what I've been doing. I'll just tap a picture of all the tools laying there. And like I said, you can find these on Amazon. They go down your cup holder of your car. I use it for honing my knife blade. So I'll take a picture of that. I actually found this design. So thanks for watching. Quick tip, don't get this wet with water up. Don't don't get this wet. Alcohol will dry up. Don't get it wet. Uh, just keep it away when you're doing anything wet. Keep that nice and dry. Okay. Okay, this is an add-on. The next pictures you'll see, you'll see this can in there a little ways. Will be with my favorite lemon scented furniture polish. So you'll see what it looks like. You're still going to see maybe a few of these scratches, but the more you wax it, because you got to keep flooding it, like I said, with the alcohol and get the white powder back out of there. So right after this clip, you'll see pictures of with the furniture wax on it.